Hey guys, thanks for joining us. Today we're joined by Vinny from Ska Punk Legends, Less Than Jake. It's a rough shot, and my chances can't get worse. You guys excited about playing uh, Florida Music Fest? Uh, we are. Uh, this is our fourth time playing. Awesome. And uh, it's always a good time. It's outside in Florida, so it's already starts to be a good vibe. You're not like kind of caught in a club. Makes a little alcohol, makes a little bit of high intensity music. Okay. It's a fun time. Do you guys have any uh, pre-show rituals that you do that's a little awkward? Uh, back in 1997, there was no dressing rooms. There were no really bathrooms to be had. Uh, it was punk clubs, you know, for instance, personally. Even if you went to a bathroom, it would be weird. Yeah. But uh, I started to pee in a plastic cup. So now my ritual is to pee in a plastic cup before we hit the stage. Remember you guys recently released a new album, See the Light, yes. a few months ago. Uh, that was your first full-length album in five years. How have the response has been for that album? Great. We wanted to kind of make a cohesive idea uh, for a full-length. Good vibe in the studio. We did it all ourselves. Our bass player, Raj, uh, produced at, at his studio. Here we are, a few months later. People say good things about it. and. I still think good things about it, so that's what matters. That's great. Tell us a little bit about your songwriting process. I know that you write the majority of the lyrics. Yeah, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Usually Chris and Raj, well, they'll put some kind of chords together, and occasionally JR as well, our sax player, put some chords together and kind of a rough melody and flip through the lyrics, and I have a certain idea about melody in my head when I'm doing the lyrics anyway. And then we just kind of dive in from there, and sometimes it's a home run and it fits perfectly and other times you have to sort of slice and dice and, and try to make the song. Yeah. And sometimes it falls together it's like it's meant to be. You guys have been together for over 20 years. Yeah. Uh, what has changed and what has stayed the same? We've seen a lot of different musics come and go but we've also seen technology sort of change as well, uh, as far as how people digest music and how people buy or not buy music. It went from a cassette tape and a vinyl record when we first started, yeah. and then a CD, and then the, the death of a CD, yeah. and then people started pirating the MP3, and now people start to buy the MP3, and just when people started to like kind of go, oh yeah, I'm buying it, in comes streaming, and they're like, I'm not right. buying it anymore. Technology, you know, for a, anyone that makes content, technology, you know, has been a wild ride for 20 years. How has social media affected your band? Well, it's, it's direct to the fan, you know, uh, for better or for worse, to be honest with you. Sometimes you said something and then you wish there was a filter, you know, and social media is immediacy, immediate contact with a fan or a non-fan which is a whole is a whole nother thing. Uh, it's great, you have to stay on your toes and you have to be smart about what you do as a band. I can reach out to fans, ask, what should we play tonight on the set list at the Florida Music Festival? You could go up, I saw it. You could go online and say, I need some questions for Lesson Jake, <laughs> I, I, I'm doing an interview. So that immediacy and that coolness, uh, it, it makes the, the brand flourish. Have you noticed the change in your fans at shows from when you guys first started to now? Well, at first it was all teenagers. Now it's 40-year-olds, 30-year-olds, 20-year-olds, and teenagers. Woo! Less than Jake! Yeah. I've met plenty of moms and plenty of dads who bring their teenage kid. You know, I loved you when I was growing up. Now I have a son or daughter, and I'm bringing them. This is their first show. And they may have even been conceived to a Less Than Jake song. I, I hope. It would be a very fast and very quick. <laughs> that's how the songs are. So I don't, like, if it was, that's probably how it would have been. I can relate to yeah, that. So yeah. If you could go back to 1992, the beginning of your career, okay. what advice would you give yourself? Do everything in moderation, including moderation. There it is. I think I might get that tattooed on me yeah, somewhere. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's yeah. pretty inspirational there. 
We actually have some uh, social media questions. I took the social media it's be terrible. recently. These questions are be terrible. <laughs> uh, Jackie wants to know, in the song "The Science of Selling Yourself Short," what was the motivation here? To me, it's it's a song that's self-deprecating that says ultimately what a terrible person I am, but I continue on, you know, and. It, it's funny because when I wrote that, I was going uh, through getting divorced from uh, my first wife. And when you're penning something so self-deprecating and it's set to such a cheery and, and flowery uh, set of music, it, you kind of gloss over the fact that it's just me calling myself a terrible person, but yeah. me moving on from it as well. Uh, Steve wants to know, uh, what was the incident that occurred referenced in the song Ninth at Pine? Ninth at Pine was uh, two streets and there was a fight going on. And instead of people breaking up that fight, they were cheering for the two people fighting to continue. We're going to sit here and watch you tear each other apart and we're not going to do anything. And that was a, a, a very weird moment for me, you know. What does the future look like for Lesson Jake? You know, more shows, you know, uh, you work and you find places to play and you continue to have fun. It's going to be shows, but it's also going to be balanced between family and friends as well as professionally, like sort of you hope to move forward. Even if it's a little bit of forward momentum, you're, you're winning in the, 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 the long run. I count on one hand. All right, Vinny, thank you very much. Um, See the Light is in stores now. Yes. Uh, where else can they go to, to f buy the album? Go to iTunes. Go to your local independent music store. Buy some vinyl, actually. That's a great thing. And uh, that's it. All right. Thanks. All right, Vinny, thank you very much. Appreciate it.